We're going to be doing a Photoshop sketch of a hypercar style Bugatti. But I just wanted to show you some of the process I took in order to get to that final image. Uh, one day I was just kind of doodling around some forms and shapes for some interesting sketches and just having fun and came across this kind of idea. Um, there's some kind of unrefined perspective issues, form issues, but I thought the central idea of it was cool in that we have these really large fenders connected by these wings to this sort of almost fighter jet style cockpit in the middle. So I thought that was really cool, but I needed to refine it just a little bit more. Took it into a larger pencil drawing, kept things super light, started to just refine a few shapes. And then before... I got to my final sketch that you'll see in Photoshop. I did yet another pen sketch over this, refining even further elements, just making sure it was ready for Photoshop at that time. Bugatti is such an interesting brand to work on just because of the large amount of carryover of many design elements from far in the past. Many brands may carry over design elements from 20 or 30 years ago, but Bugatti retains many of the 1920s and 1930s design elements, such as the horseshoe grill and two-tone themes. So it makes for a very unique product and it's fun to sketch on. Ettore Bugatti, the man who started Bugatti, was an Italian, um, but the brand initially was a German company, which then switched hands later on and is now headquartered in France. They make high-performance automobiles and just have a very rich history, not only in supercars as you see today, but in motor sport. They have a really rich history of creating some of the most extravagant and artistic designs out there, uh, as well as some of the most expensive cars out there. But not only that, they've created some of the cars that have topped the fastest cars in the world list. I'm going to sit back and let you watch the way that the sketch process pans out in Photoshop here. But to give you a brief overview, I start by blocking in colors. I shade those colors and then I start playing around with the highlights and the shadows and the contrast to start to define the forms well. The overall intention is to make sure my light source is in the same location and make sure that all these forms are communicating clearly.
Did you like this style video? Let me know in the comments and also let me know if you have any questions in regards to techniques shown in this video.